Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today's topic is Physical and Chemical Properties of Alkynes and I am pretty sure that after this video this lecture will gonna be much easier for you. You have to sit with a pen and a paper so that you can also practice with me. Physical Properties of Alkynes Physical Properties are those properties which can be judged by five senses simply by watching, by smelling, by tasting, by listening or by touching. So whatever the condition is, if it can be judged by any of the five senses, it will be named as physical property. For all kinds, they can form series of compounds like alkenes and alkenes. Its first member is acetyl. It is a colorless gas with faint garlic odor. Now as it's colorless and having garlic odor, so we can smell it. So as we can smell it, this is a physical property. Acetylene is slightly soluble in water, but soluble in organic solvents such as benzene, alcohol, acetone, ether and etc. Now we know that acetylene is a non-polar compound. So definitely it's gonna be dissolved in non-polar solvents more easily. As we know that like dissolve like. In acetylene, we use carbon and hydrogen with triple bond in it. Now, the electronegativity difference between carbon and hydrogen is very less. So, that's why they are nonpolar and having covalent bond in it. The bond which is formed by the shearing of electron, making it nonpolar. So, they are readily dissolved in nonpolar salt. Acetylene, which is the first member of alkynes, is slightly lighter than air. Interesting, alkynes are also flammable. They produce smokier flames than those of alkenes and alkenes. Now the chemical reactions. Chemical reactions means that which shows the bonding that how reactants react together to give us alkynes. Alkynes are reactive compounds because of presence of triple bond. As they are unsaturated, so they can give accommodation to other atoms. Addition reaction easily takes place due to presence of two weak bonds, which readily broken one by one. Now addition of halogen, as it is a triple bond compound, so definitely we can add halogen by breaking the bond. Chlorine and bromine adds to acetylene to form tetrachloroethane and tetrabromoethane. When bromine water is added to acetylene, red brown color of bromine water is discharged due to formation of colorless tetrabromoethane. This reaction is used to identify the unsaturation of alkynes. Now this is the reaction in which ethane reacts with bromine, okay, bromine water we have taken here and the bonds between the carbon atoms will break these bonds. When it will break, electrons will gonna free on both carbon atoms. These free electrons will form bond with bromine and convert it into tetrabromoethane. The word tetra is representing four bromine atoms. Oxidation with potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate is a strong oxidizing agent. It means 
that it will reduce itself to oxidize others. Now, how it will gonna reduce itself? Potassium permanganate, manganese has a valency positive 7. While if we move towards the product, in this, manganese MnO2, manganese has a valency of positive 4. Now, while moving from reactant to product, it gains 3 electrons. From positive 7, it changes to positive 4. So, this gaining means, gain of electrons means reduction. Now, here, potassium permanganate undergoes reduction and it oxidizes acetylene. It adds oxygen to acetylene and in the product, we will get adjacent carbon atoms with four hydroxyl groups while the side products will be MnO2 and KOH potassium hydroxide now the intermediate product eliminates water molecules to form glyoxol and then which is further oxidized to form oxalic acid so in this way Alkynes undergo oxidation with potassium permanganate. Thank you so much. For more videos, keep watching. Have a great day.